what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back and joining me in another video so it is wednesday y'all and i'm back with another vlog for y'all i'm starting this vlog off a little bit later in the week than i anticipated but i really haven't done like a ton this week or at least a ton that i feel like i could like vlog for y'all so the only thing i really did yesterday i went to a pilates class well i spent the morning trying to get my like vlog up for you guys that went up yesterday tuesday if you haven't checked it out check the last week's vlog out and it was really fun but yeah i spent the like first half of the day trying to get that video up for you guys and then i went to a pilates class in the evening time and yeah i pretty much like spend a little bit of time with my cousin and then that was like pretty much it for the evening so like i really didn't do that much but yeah i went to another solid core class uh, yesterday last night what well, was like evening time it wasn't night time but it was a good workout i'm like super sore today super sore and i need to clean my place but i am happy i did the beginners class last week though because i feel like I was definitely a lot more like comfortable uh, yesterday just with like instruction. I still kind of had to look around to see like what everybody was doing, but I was definitely a, a lot more comfortable with the machine and stuff. And so definitely if anyone is interested in taking a solid core class or really any Pilates class, find out if they have like a beginner's course that you can take first because I would definitely recommend doing that because it is a lot slower of a pace and you'll get a chance to kind of learn the machine and kind of get the, get the hang of things before actually going to like one of their regular classes so anyways i am getting ready to clean my place up a little bit so i actually started off this morning i went to the dentist and got just like a uh by is it called biannual i think you get it every six months is that biannual or is that every other year i don't know but it was time for my cleaning <laughs> and so i went and um got that done and they said that my teeth did not have that much build up so that's good um they said that i have been doing good with like flossing and stuff which is awesome the only thing she said i had very like minimal bleeding when they were flossing which i feel like i just need to be more like aggressive in a way with my flossing because sometimes i'm not gonna lie i'm lazy and i kind of just do it just to like get it done real quick but I'm not really getting like deep in there in between my teeth, you know? And so, yeah, I just need to be like more aggressive with it. So that way when they go, cause they're aggressive with flossing your teeth. When they do it, then my gums won't, you know, be as sensitive. So anyways, um, I did that this morning. I just got back not too long ago and I have about an hour, a little over an hour actually before I need to head to my nail appointment. I don't wanna show you guys my nails cause they look so bad but i really need to clean my apartment like i have been putting it off for too many days now i was supposed to do it on monday well i was really supposed to do it last week then i was supposed to do it on monday then i was supposed to do it yesterday and it just hasn't gotten done and so my i usually never let my apartment get this bad but it is this bad now and i feel like this is the perfect time for me to film a clean with me for you guys so i don't know if it'll be up before you see this video if it is i'll link it down below and i'll tag it as well for you guys but it's the perfect time for me to film a clean with me so i think i'm gonna start filming like start the whole cleaning process and then whenever i get back from my nail appointment then i'll just like finish it or whatever and hopefully i can get it done today like that's pretty much how i'm gonna be spending my evening so obviously i'm not gonna like record any of that for you guys because you'll see it in my clean with me video but yeah i think that's the plan for today so not too too much going on today like i said i have my dentist appointment i have my nail appointment and then i'm just gonna be like cleaning my place up because tomorrow i actually would like to do some fall shopping and decorating so that's why i need to clean my place up first because i can't decorate over a mess uh, in a messy space you know i need to like make sure my place is like clean and organized and then i can decorate so i'm holding myself to it i'm gonna get my cleaning done by the end of the night and we're gonna wake up to a nice fresh clean house tomorrow that we can decorate for fall so yeah that's it that i have to do i just wanted to check in with you guys start this vlog off and we'll go from there it's a lot later y'all i just got home not too long ago and honestly i did not even get that much cleaning before i left like i put a couple things away and then i just stripped my bed so that i can wash my sheets but that's all that i've gotten done is a little bit of laundry so after i eat i'm gonna actually start cleaning at this point it's gonna be a little nighttime clean with me because 
it's already like 6 30 a little after 6 30 p.m and so i'm probably gonna be up i mean i don't go to sleep that early anyway so it's fine but like i'll probably be cleaning for like the rest of the night <laughs> until i'm ready to go to bed but yeah i'm gonna get ready to eat i stopped at viva chicken to get myself some food i just got their peruvian fried rice and then i also got some plantains which i really like their sweet plantains Try not to spill it. <laughs> and then I get the um, yellow sauce. Ah! My kids are so good. They didn't even try to get this. But I get the um, yellow sauce to put on my fried rice. And then I'm just drinking water. Y'all, today I have been so thirsty. I've been so thirsty today. I don't know why. But this is like, it's not, it's probably about halfway gone. But I'm going to eat my food. And then I'm probably going to chug a bunch of water. And then I'm probably going to get an energy drink. I don't know. I don't want to be up super late. So maybe I won't drink like the whole thing. But I feel like I'm going to need, especially after I eat, I'm going to need some energy to get through this cleaning. Because I absolutely have to get it done today. So yes, I'm going to eat. I'm watching Kyra's uh, new blog. She just posted it today. And I'm going to watch that while I eat. And then after that, we're going to get to cleaning. What's up, y'all? It's the next day. I know I left you guys hanging a little bit because I literally spent all evening slash night cleaning my space, cleaning my apartment. And I'm happy that it's done now, but it took me so long and I ended up going to sleep like super late last night. So anyways, it's the next day and I'm getting ready to go do my like fall decor shopping and whatnot, but I wanted to just check in with you guys first. I'm not gonna like show you guys any of that because I'm filming a separate fall vlog for you guys that will include all of that stuff so that video actually should be up before this one so go check it out if you haven't already but yeah i'll, I'll kind of show you guys a little before and i'll show you guys a little sneak peek of the after but my space is so nice and so clean now this is my living room area i got the little fall vibes you know setting the ambiance for this season even though it's hot outside <laughs> but yeah my little desk area is clean i have a couple things like my coffee and my water and some things that i was doing this morning but i cleaned that area off and wiped everything down my kitchen area is nice and clean and tidy as well i also wiped down that little um entryway table and everything as well dusted everything off and yeah and then this is my bedroom. I changed my sheets. I went ahead and switched over to my black sheets because I feel like that's just going to be more of like, you know, the vibe for like the cooler months, fall and winter. And then back in spring, I'll switch back over to my white sheets. So that's kind of what I'm working with right now. I don't really necessarily want to change anything um, or not change. I don't necessarily want to take away anything that's on my bed, but if I can just add to it to make it more fall then you know that's the plan but this is pretty much what everything's looking like i'm currently washing my um curtains so that's why there's no curtains hanging over there but yeah even my bathroom is nice and clean i took a shower this morning so my shower is like wet but yeah everything is clean we're not gonna look in my closet because yeah it's not clean in there but that is another job for another day so yeah like i said i wanted to just check in with you guys because like i said i didn't get to you know talk to you guys yesterday i was so hungry when i got home i ate and then i literally started cleaning and was cleaning until like two in the morning yeah i was cleaning like all night but i'm really happy i got everything cleaned it feels so much better in here the only area i gotta take care of is that closet but yeah we're gonna we're gonna do that maybe in a couple weeks because i need a break and also i'm finishing up laundry as well i literally did seven loads of laundry on tuesday I did like four loads of clothes and three of towels and then yesterday I did like two or three loads and then today I still have two more loads to do well, I had three and one is in the uh, wash I'm about to put it in the dryer right now and then I literally have two more loads to do so I'm tired I need a break I'm sick of laundry but I'm almost done and yeah so anyways I'm rambling right now I just wanted to check in with you guys I'm getting ready to head out so that I can go do my fall shopping and then I'll check back in with you guys later on I'll probably be tonight because I'm gonna like come back and decorate and everything and yeah I'll see y'all later y'all would not believe what I went through today it's a lot later I've been home for like a few hours but I needed some time to just decompress because it has been a day well it's been an evening 
it's been a whole day but it's been an evening the last few hours prior to me getting home last couple hours prior to me getting home madness so i pretty much did all of my you know fall shopping that i needed to do um and my last stop that i made was um target and so i went to target and i've been there before it's not like a completely unfamiliar area but it's just like on the uh, on the opposite side of town from where i'm used to going right there's like three other targets that <laughs> i would probably go to before i go to that one and so but i just happened to be in the area so i was like i'm gonna go to this one so i leave that target and i am on my way to my last what was supposed to be my last stop right which was trader joe's i pull into trader joe's and i literally got the best parking spot too i was like i almost poked myself in the eye i was like the second car up to the front like literally the best spot and i had about an hour before trader joe's closed it closed so i was like okay perfect timing like i can go and get what i need i was hoping that it wasn't going to be you know too busy too crowded because it was like towards the end of their hours and so anyways i parked i found the perfect perfect spot i parked and i'm getting ready to get out to reach i'm reaching for my camera to get out to go into trader joe's and i'm like well, where's my camera where's my camera yeah so obviously i found it because i'm talking to you guys but i was like freaking out so me my cousin was with me me and my cousin are looking through we're looking through all of our bags everything that we picked up from all the places that we went to we went to home home goods hobby lobby and target I think just those three yeah we went to those three places and so we're looking through all the bags we're looking all over the car we're like where is the camera so my cousin couldn't remember the last time you know she saw the camera <laughs> i remembered as i was thinking i was like it has to be in the cart like in the shopping cart so i called target and i'm like hey has anyone you know dropped off a camera to lost and found they're like no we haven't seen anything um the guy homeboy was bringing in the carts he hasn't seen anything and i'm like okay well i'm on the way they said obviously if they find it they'll hold it up at the front for me at guest services or whatever and so i get there the first thing i do is check to see like where because my cousin put everything or put the cart back after we were done unloading it into the car and basically like we looked in that area there was like no carts he had already took all those carts inside i looked on the you know in the parking lot like on the ground and there wasn't anything in that area so we walk inside we go to like guest services area and she's like no i haven't seen anything she looks in like the little lost and found area she said there was only like wallets and purses i'm like dang not people losing they losing their wallets and ain't come back and look for it but yeah it was just like it wasn't a camera in there so i'm thinking back i'm like okay it literally has to be in the cart because when we were done checking out i had to go to the bathroom I was like holding my bladder all day long and i was like i just need to go to the restroom i usually don't like to use the restroom in public but target is one of those places that i will use the restroom if i really 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 have to and i really had to so anyways my cousin was standing by the cart and she was like on her phone doing something and so she like was kind of paying kind of paying attention kind of not but i sat my camera down like i specifically remember sitting it down in the top of the cart and she had her um she had a couple bags up there but i sat i didn't sit it on top of anything i set it down on the actual cart in the top and i said watch this so i went to the bathroom i came back out we walked to the car and when we got to the car she handed me everything out of the car and i put it or out of the cart and i put it in the car so everything that she handed me was like everything that we bought she never handed me my camera so i'm like unless if you didn't if you don't remember putting it like in your purse or in one of the bags which we had already checked you know all the bags she checked her purse even all of that and it wasn't in there if you don't remember picking it up and putting it anywhere then it has to still be in the cart so everyone was just kind of acting like we haven't seen it <laughs> which i don't expect them to be in panic mode like me because they're just they're just doing their job and they, I, I really believe i mean i know they didn't see it because of where i found it but yeah i don't blame them for how they acted but like they were just like no we don't know what you're talking about <laughs> but anyways there was this really nice girl god bless her 
I don't even know what her name was, but she was like, you can look through all the carts. And she was like, she gave us this little tip. You should start on the other end of the carts because he literally just brought all these carts in. So start on the opposite end, not like when you first walk in, start on the opposite end and you can just start pulling them out and looking through all the carts. And so I was like, you know, that is smart, especially if he's, if this, cause I remember when we got to the store, all the cart section was like almost empty. So if he just started bringing them in, it would probably be up closer to the front. So we walked around to the front, literally, literally the second cart. And it wasn't, I didn't even have to pull it out or anything. The second cart, my camera was sitting right there. Blessed is an understatement because you guys don't even know I was freaking out. I'm like, first off, I've been filming all day long my fall vlog for you guys all that footage footage would have been gone but also even more hurtful was my camera like you guys would have been gone i'm like i spent money i invested on this camera and like you guys wouldn't have this this vlog you guys still would have got this vlog because it was a different sd card but my fall vlog would have would have just completely been gone like all that footage done and i'm just literally on my way back driving back to target which mind you this is like a 25 30 minute drive because this is not on my side of town i'm shaking i turned the music off and i was just praying the whole time <laughs> me and my cousin we were praying because i'm like god please but one thing about it god he finds ways to show you and to remind you that he is with you each and every single day through whatever which this is a obviously a very obvious situation but like even the little things even with the little things he is with you he is guiding you like it just reminds me to be more grateful and to be more thankful even for the littlest things right waking me up in the morning i have fresh water clean water to drink you know i have clean clothes to put on my back like just thanking god for the little things <laughs> even earlier earlier today previous to this me and my cousin were just like joking around about our wrinkly hands and i was telling her that, <laughs> that like i've always had kind of wrinkly hands but especially on my hand where i've had like really bad eczema it just looks even more wrinkly now but she was like you know there's people out there with no hands <laughs> and they would literally die to have wrinkly hands and i'm like you know what we kind of just laughed it off but i'm like she's right like we need to be we need to start being thankful and appreciative for even the littlest things things that we don't even think about on a daily basis like thank god for my health thank god for my physical body you know for my well-being like just thanking god for the little things so i just had to share that with y'all i'm just so happy i found y'all girl i'm just so happy i found y'all because <sighs> won't he do it he really will but yeah that's a little little testimony for today <laughs> and i am gonna chill for the rest of the night i have to get up early in the morning because i need to go back to trader joe's because i didn't get my trader joe's stuff so i'm gonna get up early in the morning and then i have to come back here and i want to like actually decorate and finish that vlog so yeah i'm excited i'm not gonna show you guys anything tomorrow i'll give you a little sneak peek after i decorate but i'm really excited about everything all the pieces that i got i think it's gonna really warm my apartment up for like the fall time so yeah i'm really excited but i'll catch you guys in the morning probably after i'm like done with that video and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow what's up you guys it is the next day it's friday and i just got done decorating my place so i told you guys yesterday that i didn't end up or you know i wasn't able to come home and decorate and i didn't end up going to trader joe's so i got up early this morning went to trader joe's and i got like a bunch of their just like fall treats and stuff and some new things and also some um things that i've had previous years and so i came back here and i pretty much decorated my whole place and i made like a little mocktail which it was really good i have my my drink right here behind me i'm still kind of sipping on it i have a lot left though lex is coming over in a little bit so i'm gonna make her drink some of it but it's really good it's definitely giving 
fall vibes. There is ginger beer in there, but I feel like because I only put two cans, you can't, it's not like a strong ginger taste. I'm like moving y'all around so much. Let me set y'all up, hold on. Okay, I feel like that's a lot better. What's wrong, Poot? I'm gonna take you out in a minute. Give me one minute, okay? I gotta take them out. But anyways, I am, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Anyways, I came back home <laughs> and decorated and my apartment looks so nice. I'll show you guys in a second. I'll show you guys my bedroom. By the time this video goes up, I will have already posted my fall vlog. So you guys will have already seen it. But like in real time, like right now, it's all new to me. So I'm just like, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show y'all my bed because that's like the most the place that I'm most excited about or that I decorated. And so, yeah, I came back decorated. I made a little mocktail. I made a little stovetop um, potpourri and it smells so, so good in here. This is my first time doing that. I see all the time other people do it and I'm like, does it really, really smell that good? Cause you're just putting like some apples and some lemon or whatever you want to put in it in a, in some cinnamon sticks in a pot. But like, it smells really, really good so i'm getting ready to turn that off now so i can take the pups out and i'm just gonna take care of them and then today is actually the drake concert which i'm really excited about i have seen drake in the past drake was actually my first concert it's so funny because it's not just drake's concert it's drake and 21 savage but like it's drake concert but yeah i'm excited he was my first concert it was the Take Care album, which will always have my heart. It's like my favorite album from him. And yeah, I'm going to see him tonight. We are going to see him tonight. There's like six of us going, but we're all kind of sitting separately. So me and Lex are going to be sitting together. And that's why she's coming over here after she gets off of work to get ready. We're going to get ready together and whatnot. And so believe it or not, I have no idea what I'm wearing. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. I have... A shirt that I want to wear but I just don't know like what bottoms or I, I just don't know what to wear with that top like I really want to wear that top but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it work you know so we'll see but hopefully I can make it work I'm gonna throw something together and we are going to dinner we're gonna go to Chili's us and like me and all the girls um, or a few of the girls we're gonna go to Chili's to eat we've just been like craving Chili's and they have like a happy hour margarita something as well so they're gonna get drinks and, and whatnot and we're gonna eat there and then we're gonna go to the concert so i'm really excited hopefully i can find an, an outfit that i'm like comfortable and confident in. and yeah so i'm gonna take care of the pups really quickly make sure they're good and then when i get back i'm gonna take a quick shower and then i'll come back on while i'm getting ready so you guys can see that process i almost forgot to show you guys my bedroom but it is so nice in here i'm just loving all the colors and how they're looking together and i feel like my bed it was starting even though i loved the clean simple whatever look earlier this year like springtime i am really i was starting to really feel like it was just like plain and boring and so i'm happy to like add some different colors and stuff to it so yeah and i just have like a little pumpkin over there that i got yesterday i have a little pumpkin candle and another little pumpkin and it's just pumpkin galore in here and i'm just loving it so yeah of course in my fall vlog i shared where i got everything and some prices and all that so if you haven't checked it out go ahead and check it out but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take the pups out now so it's a little bit later now. I'm getting ready to do my makeup. I'm just going to fix or touch my eyebrows up and then do my makeup real quick. Get dressed, jewelry, all of that because we have about, I always do this. I don't have my watch on and I'm looking at my wrist. Um, we have about 45-ish minutes before we have to head out. So I am going to speed this up and I'll show you guys my outfit when I'm done. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get. Oh, oh, my hanging on my neck. The brace of matches a set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. You know how sticky it get. Hey yo, Eric, bring them 
girl to the stage Cause somebody's getting paid And three big slime out the cage And shorty try to play it cool But now she wish she would've stayed Cause every song that I made Bring it like I got engaged I Love my guys, I wouldn't trade Run the cradle to the grave Ay, Gordo got me on the wave Ay, And got me on the wave Ay, Couple hits, now you brave What? You niggas better behave What? All that pumping up your chest What? All that talk about the best What? You know how sticky it gets you know how sticky it gets. If I'm with two of them, then it's a threesome. If she alone, you know she a freak one. If it's an escort, it's a police one. King of the hill, you know it's a steep one. If we together, you know. Okay, so we're all done getting dressed now. I'm out of breath. I just finished, I just did something a little quick to my hair. Hopefully it looks okay. But I just have on this like satin halter top courtesy of my sis, Lex. I don't know where she got it from. Zara. Zara. I have on some black jeans, which I wore these recently, but the other jeans that I was like originally planning on wearing this with did not work out. So I just put these back on. And then I have my diesel sneakers on that I wore to the renaissance concert so yeah that's the fit i just have on silver jewelry earrings all that and we're getting ready to head out to chili's we're gonna go to the restaurant get some food and then we're gonna go to the concerts i'll see you guys there wow wow yeah look at me dead in my eyes i know that you know that a nigga ain't lying too much respect all of my shorty bds they know not to try too much respect i used to hand out cds before they were buy. Whoa, she love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Hey. Full S13, stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up, I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. Yes. 
technically but since the last time I like spoke with you guys was the Drake concert which is actually over a week ago because it's Saturday right now and Drake's concert was Friday night last weekend so it's been over a week <laughs> since I've spoken to you guys but um, I wanted to kind of just come on and like catch up I've been a terrible vlogger this week I kind of sort of like took a break but it won't really seem like a break to you guys just for like a few days like this week but it won't really seem like a break to y'all because I'm still having a video every week but we'll talk about the Drake concert a little bit um I enjoyed myself I had a good time but I do think there were aspects of it that could have been a little bit better um, I'm driving right now, so that's why I'm not looking directly at you guys, but I think there were like aspects of it that could have been a little bit better, especially given like his, you know, fame, popularity, like he's very well known. And I just think there, there could have been things for sure that were better. So I would rate the whole like experience a 7, 7.5. And the reason why I say that, like, I still enjoyed it. I still had a good time. Um, I like his music, and so I just had a good time, right? But I think that little, there's little things that could have been better. So the main thing for me was the sound quality. If I didn't know the songs, like, I, there were times that I probably wouldn't be able to hear him <laughs> or understand what he was saying. It kind of sounded like muffled or like he was mumbling. And so I feel like the sound quality should be better. For how much money you have, the, the sound that I'm hearing should match up with the movement of your lips on the screen. You know what I mean? And it, it wasn't given that. So I think just like technology-wise, it could have been better. Although the stage itself was really nice. I really liked the whole setup of like his stage and how it was like in the middle of the coliseum or the arena it was like in the middle so there's no like back of the stage like he was able to pretty much maximize which they're kind of smart for that maximize like the amount of people that they can fit in there and so i really like that and i also like the the stage itself was like a big screen or like multiple screens so i thought that was really cool as well i like how he incorporated that little boy everybody keeps calling him the little boy because i don't know his name <laughs> but i like how he incorporated him as like a version of his younger self i thought that was really cool so there was aspects of it that i was like okay i really like this but there was also times like there was times where the screens were off and I was sitting kind of high up you know I was like borderline nosebleeds we weren't like all the way all the way up but I was sitting kind of high up and I feel like regardless of where you're sitting you should still have a good experience and be able to see something right well there were times where the screens were off I don't know if that is every city or if he was just having technical difficulties here in Charlotte but the screens were off at some points and because of all the smoke around the stage you couldn't see who was on the stage like you can hear them you can hear drake you can hear 21 savage whatever but you couldn't see them and so i just thought that was like unacceptable because i if i can't see you on a stage with all the smoke effects and stuff like i should be able to at least see you on the screen so there was like little things about it that i was like mm. i also think they could have incorporated maybe like some dancers because i know they're not performers they're not dancers like they're rappers well drake is kind of like both a mix rapper singer whatever but they could have incorporated at least to some of the songs like dancers maybe um or even like a band or whatever for once again some of the songs they did have a dj which i thought that was really nice and he kind of interacted with the dj a little bit um but yeah there could have been certain things i think that were that would have been better but like i said there was some things that i didn't enjoy about it as well so i rated it a seven seven point five 
that's my rating i also really like his tribute that he did to virgil he had like a big blow up statue of him and did like a little tribute to him and i thought the words that he said was really nice so i did enjoy that aspect of it as well he sung a couple songs over there so yeah i enjoyed it it wasn't like the worst i've been to but i just feel like for his level of fame you know there's certain aspects of it that could have been better and you know i'm not comparing him to any like singers definitely not comparing him to beyonce because nobody compares to beyonce like that's just she's in her own category period but the people that i think about that are it's like on his level i would say are like j cole kendrick lamar, <laughs> i can't even say his name kendrick lamar um which those are like especially kendrick he's i've heard is a very good performer and i also think about like the weekend i've seen the weekend in concert and yeah there's just it's a little different but like i said overall i enjoyed it i had a good time with my girls and yeah so since then i haven't really done anything like too crazy like during the week and stuff but um the other day i did um vlog a little bit for you guys i think i showed you guys i was just kind of running errands i had a well i had to go pick up my pups some food so i went and did that And then I also went and just had something to return to Amazon that didn't fit me. So I went ahead and made that return. And then later on in the evening, I went and spent time with my niece. So I had a good time with baby girl. Yay, good job, Ari girl. <laughs> good job, baby girl. Can get some more? Look, our girl. Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> Put it in. Good job. Thank you. Now, like I said, it is Saturday. I just pulled into a parking deck, so it's kind of dark. But I am at the mall because I'm picking up a curbside pickup order really quickly and I need to find where where the curbside pickup even is but I'm picking up a curbside pickup order real quick and then I'm gonna head back home and tonight should be fun we are going to Disney on ice which I'm really excited about and we're taking um, all the little kitties where is curbside pickup? Let me find the curbside pickup and I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, so I found the curbside pickup area. I gotta let them know that I'm here. But yeah, I'm just picking up an order and then we're going to Disney on Ice. I have to go back home. I have like 45 minutes. So hopefully it doesn't take them long to bring my order out. But yeah, I'm gonna go back home and Lex is gonna come and pick me up. It just makes more sense because she'll have Raya with her in her car seat and everything. So she's just gonna pick me up, I'm gonna ride with her and then we're gonna meet the rest of the girls at the place. And so, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I didn't get to do stuff like this growing up, like curbside. I mean, not curbside. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> I didn't get to do stuff like this growing up, like going to Disney and like, you know, just like fun things like this. And so I'm really excited because, yeah, I'm just excited. I didn't get to experience stuff like this when I was a kid. So like, I'm gonna experience them now as an adult. And even though I don't have my own kids, you know, other people's kids, and my niece and their nieces and nephews are my nieces and nephews you know so i'm gonna experience it with them so yeah i'm excited okay they should be coming out in a minute but yeah i'm excited and i don't think i can take my camera but i am gonna take i mean 
probably vlog on my phone for you guys because I don't know I'm just excited I think it is just gonna be really cool um, I don't have anything Disney on because I literally I don't have anything Disney and so yeah I didn't have anything but I mean it's really for the kids so I'm not trying to be all dressed up or anything but I'm excited I think it's gonna be a good time so I'm gonna um, hit you guys up when I get back to the apartments um, like I said, hopefully they will come out shortly and bring my order so I can head back so I can be there by the time Lex gets there because, yeah, I got to make sure I take my kids out too, my puppers, um, before I leave. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys once I get back to my apartment. Sweet here, y'all, my hair is so frizzy, but I'm back home now. I'm actually waiting for Lex to come and get me, to pick me up, but I'm back home and where's my necklace at? Oh, it's tucked in. But yeah, she's on the way right now and we're gonna be heading out very shortly. I'm not, like I said, gonna take my camera. I'm just gonna try to get some clips on my phone for you guys, but I'm excited. It should be a good time. So I will see you guys there. Smile excited. Riot Girl. Mm -hmm. How smile Riot Girl. Really excited? Yeah. yeah. Crystal says smile. Yeah, look at the camera. <laughs> yeah. now from Disney on Ice and I had such a great time getting ready to just kind of wind down a little bit get comfortable um, and just relax until I'm ready to go to bed but I wanted to come on and just talk to y'all for a minute um, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog but I wanted to just kind of chat for a little bit um, I had a good time I really enjoyed myself at Disney on Ice and I was telling Lex in the car on the way back that like it just makes me so happy to be able to like do things like this not only because I didn't get to experience stuff like this and do things like this when I was a kid um but also like I'm it just it makes me so happy that they like invite me to this kind of stuff because I really do consider like you know their kids and their nieces nieces and nephews whoever like they're my nieces and nephews too so i'm just happy that they were you know they were welcoming they invited me to do this because they didn't have to invite me like i don't have my own you know biological nieces and nephews so i i feel like happy and thankful that they did they do include me in things like this because i really am tt chris okay and I mean that with all my heart. I'm TT Chris and I love my nieces and my nephew. But yeah, we had a good time. We saw all the Disney characters and it was it was fun. It's it's fun to see like, you know, just so many kids just having a great time and dancing and a lot of the little girls had like their little princess dresses on and it was just it was just so cute. And I also got to see like some of my favorite Disney characters as well. So it was cool. It was nice to see and we enjoyed ourselves. 
So yeah, like I said, I'm getting ready to wind down, getting ready to end this video off. I know it was kind of like spread out in a way, not really to you guys, but we got into like some fun stuff, I feel like, in this vlog. We went to the Drake concert, we went to Disney on Ice, and overall we ran some errands, and we just like spent time with, you know, our friends and family, our loved ones, so, which is just like what my life is all about. So yeah, we had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, as always, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and do all the things, girl. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.